Hello everybody! Today I got asked about CS hopping again, so this time I decided to make a small video tutorial for you. Um, first of all, what is CS hopping? CS stands for countryside and CS hopping describes a technique how you can level your account much faster than playing the usual way. You might have noticed that you don't get adventurers while playing in countryside, but you do get a lot more customers instead, which are usually asking for the best items you got. There's just one problem. You can only get experience up to level 10. If your level is higher, you won't get any more level ups. Well, CS hopping is for high level players only, so playing countryside seems quite useless for them. That's the point when CS hopping comes in. The game does not track where you are all day long. It only looks at your district once a day, that's when the clock hits 8 p.m. So it doesn't matter where you play your day, as long as you are in palace when it gets 8 p.m. you will gain the whole experience you earned over that day. There are several advantages for playing countryside during the day. First of all, you get a lot more customers. Second, these customers will buy the best items you get, much better items than they usually ask for while you're playing in Palace. For me, they usually ask me 99% for one rings, so it's amazing, you sell like hell. Third advantage, while adventurers will give you gold and items, they only give you a tiny bit of experience. While well, customers buying items will give you the whole amount of gold you earned in experience. So, you level much faster. Last but not least, adventurers don't count to your challenge stats, while well, customers will. So, playing in countryside will not only get you more level ups, but it also boosts your guild, guild's challenge score. Of course, there are also some disadvantages. It's quite expensive. Jumping costs you uh, 5 million per day, but that's usually no problem when you're about selling 10 million a day. You still earn much more than you spend. Second, and in the beginning the most, uh, most annoying problem, is that you have to keep watching the clock all day long. Because if you forget to jump at 7 pm and the clock hits 8 pm, you don't get any experience for that day. That's quite frustrating, but with time it will happen less often. As you see, I do CS hopping all the time, also while you're watching this video, but I will show you once again while explaining in detail what I am doing. Just let me finish the day and then let's start a whole new day with CS hopping. Always watch the clock in the bottom left corner of the game. I get myself ready at 6 p.m., waiting till the clock hits 7 p.m. Then I go to neighborhood, switch the district to palace. That's it. Now you wait till the salary gets subtracted. That's the point when the game sh uh, looks for the district. After it's subtracted, you can switch back to palace. And that's uh, back to countryside, sorry. And that's it. That's how CS hopping works. Well, I play another few days. You might take a look. And I wait for my thug getting home from his trip. And then I show you how to play a thug during CS hopping. But it, it's not that difficult. Um, but there are two different ways uh, how you can do the hopping thing. Um, 
in any case you have to hop up to palace at 7 p.m. no matter what comes but then you can decide whether you jump down to countryside as soon as the sailories go down or you can wait till the next day comes and jump down to countryside at 8 a.m. Jumping down at 8 a.m. has the advantage that you can always send your thug out at 8 a.m. and then go down to countryside while jumping up to uh, jumping down to countryside at 8 p.m. makes your thug gets too late sometimes so you can not use every day for training or stealing stuff. As you can also see I'm using charming pendants quite often. I'm not cheating, I'm not buying these things, I'm stealing them from farm targets. So if you got them, use them. They also boost your experience quite a lot. You see, and another one goes. I actually got 116,000 charming pendants, so it will last quite a while. There are farming targets out there with up to 12,000 is the maximum, I think, where you can get up to 12,000 charming pendants per successful thug run, which you can do every two days, so items are no problem. The best farm you get for one rings gives you 1.8 million one rings if you are successful so having one rings is also no longer an exclusive thing for token users I played my account the last two years without buying a single token oh nice silent slippers very nice um, if you buy tokens, I suggest that you buy Mithril pack, starter pack, with give you, which give you 14 days in a row. That's quite useful. But don't waste it on any recipes. Get a thug, go thugging, stealing items from some well-known farms. If you don't know the farms, well, get in a good guild, they tell you the names of the farms and you'll be rich in just a minute. You can get up to uh, nine billions of gold with one successful run. So now it gets 7 p.m. I'm switching up to palace then sending my thug out because I'm in palace I can steal from other players this time I'm training my thug Hey, 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 here we go. So, clock hits 8 p.m. I wait till the salary goes down, and there we go. I'm down in countryside again. So, let's play a last day. So, we might see my thug coming home a bit too late to go stealing directly at 7 p.m. So while you keep watching my last day, um, I want to get rid of some greetings. Yeah, I want to create my fantastic and amazing guild. It's the Shadow Exchange Company, or just known as Sexy. Hey, you guys are the best. I would have stopped playing that game two years ago without you. Keep going. So, enough of the greeting stuff. Now it gets 7 p.m. Switching up to Palace, and my thug is still not here. He's a bit late, as you can see. So, ah, you see, no chance to get him out this time. 
That's why I keep in Palace. And right, the first thing I do is clicking my thug when the star uh, day starts, sending him out, and right after that I click the map, switch down to countryside. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Maybe I will show some other tricks. There are dozens left to show, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya guys. So what, you're still here? So seems like you liked the video, so just hit the like button, or maybe you even subscribe to my channel. <laughs> now I'm really gone, 7pm, goodbye guys.